Okay, so in here are all my eyelashes, all my false lashes. So over here I've got some Ailua eyelashes. These ones are Ailua Texture number 117 lashes. I've also got some volume lashes down there. I've got some Makeup Forever lashes here. I've got some individual lashes. I like wearing these a lot. Back here I've just got some really cheap eyelashes that I got from... Was it eBay or Amazon or something like that back in the day? Here I've actually got some false nails. I just don't know where else to keep them basically, so that's why they live in here. Here I've got some Glam by Manicare lashes. I really like these, but I have a feeling you can only get these in Australia. Here I've got a huge bunch of Crown Moiety lashes. I absolutely love these lashes. And their synthetic lashes are absolutely beautiful. They're so full and voluptuous and fluttery. And then over here I've got some Cara lashes. And these I got from Shop Miss A and they're a dollar each, a dollar US. This drawer here is my messy drawer. I think every makeup artist or every YouTuber has this drawer where they just kind of put things that they either never use or or they don't like it or something like that. And this drawer right here is that drawer for me. So in here, I've got the most random things ever. I've got some hooded eyelid tape or not hooded eyelid tape, whatever, eyelid tape. Which, by the way, if you want to see me use this tutorial, let me know and I will. I've got some sticky tape, some Halloween makeup that I got from Cryolan, which is a really, really good makeup artist brand. In here is a bunch of lipsticks that I never, ever use. Oh, what's that doing here? I actually kind of like that. <laughs> anyway, it's a bunch of lipsticks that I never, ever really use. Some <laughs> paint swatches. What's this? A really messy old empty palette. Fangs with lipstick on them, that's nice. I've got some matte spirit gum, nose and scar wax, so you can make like prosthetic noses or scars or whatever you like with that. Some fake blood, always nice to have. Spirit gum remover, very important to have. You don't want to use spirit gum without remover because it will rip your skin off. And that's about it that's useful in that drawer. Everything else is kind of junk that I really should throw away. This drawer here is my eyeshadow drawer. It's where I keep all my eyeshadows. So I'm gonna start with these ones here. I've got three palettes here from Zoeva. This is a Spectrum collection from Zoeva. And first of all, I'm gonna show you the warm one. So this is obviously all the warm colors. Look how beautiful these palettes are. They're so pigmented. They've got some mattes, they've got some shimmers, some frosted shadows, they're so beautiful. Here I've got the cool spectrum palette. So obviously this one is all the cool colors. You've got blues, purples, golds, khaki colors, and some tops and a black, which I think is very necessary in every palette. And then my favorite palette is the nude palette. So this one will suit absolutely anybody. And it's basically all just earthy colors. So you've got reds, browns, golds, black, tops, Highlight shades, I absolutely adore it. Okay, here is a palette. I got this new palette from Glambot.com. I've done a video on Glambot before, so if you haven't heard me talk about it, I'll put a card in the top right-hand corner so you can go and check that video out. Basically, Glambot is where I buy a lot of my Z palettes and empty palettes. I will also link Glambot in the description box down below for you so you can check it out for yourself if you want to. So in this palette, I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows. This collection here is the fall collection. So you've got a few mattes, not many, and then the rest are shimmers. Then this palette here was another empty palette that I got from Glambot, and this is just a Tarte Cosmetics palette. And in there, I put all my MAC Cosmetics eyeshadows. Then in here, I've got another Z palette. Yes, you guessed it, another one from Glambot. That's just where I buy my Z palettes from because they're so much cheaper than what we would pay in Australia. And in here, I've got a lot of my own eyeshadows that I'm going to be coming out with. Up here, I've got my Bobbi Brown eyeshadows. So I only own three single eyeshadows from Bobbi Brown, but I love them so much. And you can tell I love this one because I've actually hit pan on it. This is Wheat. Here, I've got another palette. This I got from iMats like three years ago. Ow. And inside it, I've just got all my colorful eyeshadows. I very rarely use colorful eyeshadows. I don't do a lot of looks that use them. Um, so they're kind of all in here, never to be touched. And then here, another Z palette. And here I've got a lot of my berry toned eyeshadows and my Urban Decay Naked palette, which I actually depotted every single eyeshadow from that palette and stuck them in here. I don't know what I was thinking when I did that. That was so stupid. I really regret doing that because it would have been fine in the original palette. So eh, anyway, over here, I've got a Sigma palette. This one is brilliant and spellbinding. I really like this palette. I've used it in a lot of tutorials because you've got a few matte colors in there and you've got a few shimmers as well and they're just really wearable colors. Then this palette here is Smokescreen and again, this is a really good palette if you have hooded eyes because it's got a lot of wearable colors if you ignore that blue there. I do have a 10% off code for Sigma products so if you do want anything, just check the description box down below. Then here I've got the Balms Meet Matte Nude. I really don't like this palette and I literally have used it once and then never ever reached for it again. It is just such a meh palette. I just, ugh. Okay, over here I've got Maybelline the Nudes palette. 
I did use this in a tutorial, but I never uploaded the tutorial just because I didn't like how it turned out. These are colours, and they are such nice colours, but they're not very pigmented. Here, I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills, what is this one? Shadow Couture World Traveller Palette. Here, I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Self Made Palette. Ooh, what are you doing in there? You don't live there. I like this palette a lot more. I think it's a lot more wearable. And again, super, super pigmented colours. Here, I've got the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette. I really love the packaging of this. It's super soft and so pretty. And the colours inside are really, really nice as well. The only thing is they, again, are hardly pigmented at all. Okay, here I've got my baby, which is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. You guys all know that I <laughs> use this in every single tutorial, and I love it so much. I pretty much use this on a daily basis. Whenever I'm using makeup, I will find myself reaching for a colour in this. Here I've got another Zoeva Cosmetics Palette. This is the top palette and like the name suggests you just have a bunch of taupey colors in there. Here I have the Motives Cosmetics Elements Mavens palette and I love this so much. I use this a lot actually and here a bunch of random eyeshadows that I do not know what I'm ever going to do with and a blush. Here I have the Urban Decay, what is this? Urban Spectrum eyeshadow palette. I've not used this yet I don't think in a tutorial but I really should because I like the colors. They're super pigmented but they're all shimmery. There's not one matte in there. <laughs> Here is another Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. I think this is Vice. Yeah, this is a Vice palette from Urban Decay. And you've got all these colors in here. So you've got a few mattes, a few shimmers. Okay, here I've got a few BH Cosmetics palettes. Actually, these are all BH Cosmetics palettes at the back. Here I've got a tiny little palette that I love so much. This is from The Body Shop and they're the Baked Cube eyeshadows. I have owned three sets of these and they take so long to run out. You can use them wet or dry and I just adore these so much. If I go traveling, this is usually what I take with me because it's so tiny, but you can do so many beautiful looks with it. Here I've got a tiny palette from Bobbi Brown. This was a um, limited edition Christmas one, I think. And it's just got a few little eyeshadows in there. Here is a little Dior palette that I got from Glambot.com. I would never have bought it otherwise because it's too expensive in Australia. Okay, this one here is all my powders. So, ugh, where will I start? I'm going to start with this one here. This is the Guerlain powder. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Look at that. Ugh, love it so much. This is the Guerlain Meteorites Voyage Enchante powder. Probably really didn't say that correctly, but it's so beautiful. This package is metal. It's refillable as well, and this powder actually smells like roses. It's a translucent setting powder, and I just love it to pieces. I never want to use it though because it's so beautiful. I just don't want to waste it. I feel like this is the kind of makeup that you would hand down to like your granddaughter or something like that because it's just so gorgeous. It's so collectible. Okay, over here I've got It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Loose Powder. So this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder, but it's a pressed powder. Here I've got Makeup Forever Setting Powder, It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Powder, Maybelline Ben Nye Cryolin. Chanel, More Makeup Forever, Nude by Nature, I hate that stuff, Sephora. And then here I've got, this is the Givenchy Prism Libre, oh, I don't know how to pronounce these things, guys. Prism Powder, okay. So I've not used this yet purely because I don't know how you're supposed to use it. You open it up, it's got a little sponge in there, and then you've got four colors here. So like purple, green, blue. I thought originally that you use them separately, like you could break them off and use them. Like maybe the green for, I don't know, setting any red areas to neutralize it, or the purple for brightening, but you can't break them off. They're all stuck together. So I think you're meant to use them all at the same time, but I just don't get the point of it. So if anybody has this and knows how to use it, please comment down below and tell me how I should be using it. Okay, so this drawer here is for all my contouring and blush products. I'm going to start in this corner here because, again, I've got three Zoeva palettes. Again, this is from the Spectrum collection, and I'm so excited about these. I absolutely adore these, possibly even more than I like the eyeshadows. So I'll show you my favorite one first. My favorite is the Nude, and you can see why. Look at these colors. They're absolutely brilliant. They're blushes, but I'm pretty sure you can use them for contouring as well, just depending on your skin tone. I've actually been using this color here as like a bronzer, and this one here for when I want a really bronzed glow, because these two both have a little bit of shimmer to them. This one here is Coral Spectrum, and I'm in love with this blush shade here. It's got that goldy fleck of um, shimmer through it, and I love it so much. I've not tried any of these two colors here, because they seem so bright. Then this one here is Pink Spectrum, and again, it's got such beautiful shades. I like this one up here, and I like this one, and that one. Just not that one so much. Okay, this here is from Laura Mercier, and this is the Candle Glow Luminizing Palette. It's basically a little palette of all different highlighting shades, but you can use them as eyeshadows too. I think these four up here 
are meant to be eyeshadows and then these ones here are highlighters or blushes or whatever you want to use them for. This product here is a little contour kit from Studio 10. Studio 10 make really really good products for like mature ladies and mature skin and people with hooded eyes and things like that. And this is their little contour kit so you've got one big contour colour here and then a little highlight shade here. Here I've got my BH Cosmetics Forever Nude Sculpt and Glow Palette. I used to use this a lot but lately I've just been branching out and not using it as much. But this is a really good palette, especially if you don't want to invest in anything too pricey. One thing I've been using a lot lately is this cream contour kit from Cover FX. I've got their contour kit in the color medium, and I mix these two colors together for my own contouring when I've got fake tan on. I love this palette here so much. This is from the Tarte Holidays collection, and it was limited edition, so I'm pretty sure you can't get it anymore, which is such a shame because it has the most beautiful shades in it. Here is another contour kit. This one is from It Cosmetics. I don't use this one very often. Um, I don't know. It just It's not something I grab for ever. I feel like the colors are very difficult to blend. Okay, this palette here is How About Them Apples palette from The Balm, and it's a cheek and lip cream palette. Again, not a product I use very much at all. They're all too bright for me, really, so I don't use them at all. Here is just a little MAC palette that I made up myself with a few blush shades from MAC. I've got Harmony. Um, what's this? I think this is Blush Baby. I really like that color. Yeah, Blush Baby. And then this here is a palette that I never, ever go to. I probably should just give this away or throw it away because it's just kind of junk in here. Actually, this is not. This is a MAC bronzer, but I depotted it. But then everything else is just kind of junky makeup, which I never use. In this drawer is all my random products for face. So highlighters, um, single bronzers, blushes. I'll show you this one first because I absolutely love this. This is a little blush from Antonin Cosmetics. And this is the Baked Blush in Copper. Look how beautiful that is, guys. Just look at that shade. It's so nice. I wore this in an Instagram photo like a week or two ago. And I wasn't wearing any highlight in it, just this. And it literally looked like I was wearing a highlight because it gives you such a glow. It's so damn beautiful. And this is the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Bronzing um, Powder for face and body. To be honest, I don't really like this because it's so difficult to get any pigment from it. It's like rock hard. And when you put your brush over it, just nothing comes off. Here I've got a Girl Line product. This is their bronzer, terracotta bronzer. So pretty, as is everything from Girl Line. But I'm so sad because it's white and it gets dirty and I really wanted it to stay clean. That is the bronzer. It's so, so nice. Oh, and it smells so good. I just sniffed it. It smells like powdery. It kind of smells like Chanel Number no. 5, actually. Here is another Laura Mercier product. And this one is, it's the Matte Radiance Baked Powder Bronzer. Here is another Girl Line product. This one, what is this? I like to keep all my Go Line makeup in their packages because they're just, just so beautiful. Oh, this is like a little kit. Look how beautiful this is, guys. You've got eyeshadows here. And then here, you've got blush shades. Okay, so this drawer here has all my lip products in it. So in here, I've got my lip creams, lip pens, some lip balms and lip glosses. In here, I've got all my random lipsticks. So my Kat Von D Started Kiss lipsticks, Tom Ford, Marc Jacobs, my Soda & Co lip balms. Zoeva lipstick, MAC, what's this, Givenchy, Burberry Military Red. In here I've got my liquid lipsticks, I love liquid lipsticks. So I've got some Lestage, I've got Anastasia Beverly Hills, Gerard Cosmetics. In here is all my lip glosses, so again I've got Gerard Cosmetics, Anastasia Beverly Hills and Sigma. And then in this little one back here, I've got all my Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks. In this drawer is where I keep all my random eye products, so I've got glitter, BH Cosmetics glitter, Sigma products. What's this one? Eyeshadow base. Oh, I keep brow products in here too. I've got my It Cosmetics Universal Top Builder Brow Cream. So my single eyeshadows are in here too, ones I've not depotted yet. So I've got Clean Color American Icon. Ben Nye Cake Black Eyeliner. Kevin Aquan Eyeshadow. More glitter. Oh wow, that's such a pretty color. I need to use it in something. Eyeliners, like gel eyeliners from Sigma. Here I've got my Eyelua um, Brow Palette. I also keep my mascaras in here. I love this one so much. Benefit sent this to me and it's got Swarovski crystals in the lid, which is so amazing. It's the Benefit They're Real Mascara and I don't want to use it because I don't want it to get wrecked. It's just so nice. Then I've got your Cosmetics, um, what is this? Hello Lashes Mascara, Too Faced Size Queen Mascara. I hate that. The brush is just way too big. Like. Come on, that is ridiculous. Who has eyes that big apart from a cow? I've got Unique Mascara. Don't use it. 
Lime Lily mascara that I got when I was back in makeup college. Definitely don't use that because it's probably gone off. I've got Tarte Cosmetics Lights Camera Flashes. I love this. I use that a lot. Bitch Cosmetics. It Cosmetics um, Tight Line Mascara. And Mini Halo Lashes Mascara. And then some other random stuff. Then in here I've got some Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. Different eye pencils and like jumbo eye pencils. Things like that. So I've got my Nude Sticks Makeup Forever. Um, it Cosmetics Brow Power. A backup one back there. What is this? Chanel. Oh, this is a Chanel brow kit. I bought that back when I was working at Chanel because I thought it was so good. The tester was so good, but this is just terrible. I've never used it. And what's this? It looks cool. That's a shoe Yumera jumbo pencil. So I should use that at some point. And that's about all that's interesting in that drawer. And then down here, this is all my foundations. So the way I'm trying to organize this at the moment is I've got these clear containers that I showed you in my lip drawer and I've tried to divide my foundations as like neatly as possible, which to be honest really isn't working. I'm moving into a new studio hopefully within the next couple of weeks at the bottom of my house, which sounds crazy, but that's what's happening. And so I'm going to have more room, so I'm going to rearrange all this. So I really don't know why I'm doing this video right now, but anyway, I'll show you guys how it is now and then I'll do an updated one once I've changed everything up and I can show you then what it looks like. So in this drawer, I've got primers and foundations and concealers. So here I've got my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Spray. I like this, but not to spray on top of makeup. I like to spray it on my face before I put my foundation on. Here I've got my Lancome Miracle Cushion Foundation. I love this. love the concept of the packaging. It just works so well. It's probably a little bit unhygienic, but I just like it a lot. So you get that little sponge in there with the foundation in it, and then your sponge to apply it. Very compact and super handy for your handbag. I've got Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Givenchy Eclat Matisse May Foundation. I really like this foundation. If you have oily skin, you want something that's quite matte, but you don't want an awful lot of coverage, or you don't want it to look cakey, give that a try because it's super, super nice. Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. I really like the idea of this. I just don't know if I like these yet because I've got it in the wrong color. This one's way too dark for my skin, so I need to get my proper color and then I can try it in my foundation, see how it works. Here I've got another primer. This is another Givenchy primer and this is Mr. Radiant. I've heard good things about that, but I've not tried it yet, so I'll have to do that. Here's my Burberry Nude Radiance Primer. I like this a lot. Here I've got the Marc Jacobs Undercover Primer. It smells like coconut. That one's really nice too. Here's another one that I've not tried yet. This is a Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. I really should give all these a try. I've not been filming a lot lately, but this year I really want to get back into it a lot. So I'll be trying out all of these and I'll tell you how they go. Uh, Makeup Forever Primer. Over here I've got my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundations. I love these. I've been using them all the time lately. My Chanel Perfection Linear Velvet foundations. You guys know that's like my all-time favorite foundation. I've got Maybelline Fit Me foundations. Shiseido foundation. Here I've got the Ecosmetics Bye Bye Redness Concealer Neutralizer foundation thing. This is amazing. Here's my Jar Cosmetics BB Cream Plus Illumination. Too Faced Cream foundation with a little brush attached. Here I've got some MAC Studio Fix foundations. Obviously not my shade, this is for clients. I've got the It Cosmetics number 50 primer. Um, I tried that on myself, I didn't like it too silicony, but I feel like if you have mature skin, you might like it because it's quite hydrating. Then some samples, and then at the very back there, I've just got random foundations that I don't like and I don't use, like Maybelline Dream Nude Air Foam, don't like that at all. Um, Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation, hate that. And that is it for that drawer. Okay, so up here I've got my little mirror that I use and this is where I keep all my brushes as well. So I'm gonna zoom you in and show you what brushes I have. Okay, so I like to keep all my brushes and my pencil liners and brow products and lip liners in jars. So I either just use regular glasses or I use empty candles or empty jar, like whatever empty jar I can find basically, I'm not fussy. <laughs> so in here I've got all my lip liners. So I've got some MAC, I've got Chanel, Mm, more MAC, Ben Nye, Sigma, Essay Lauder, that's about it really for that one. In here I've got some liquid liners, these are like the felt tip eyeliner pens, so Essay Lauder, Kat Von D tattoo liner, Maybelline. Here are my brow pencils, so that's just a brow brush. I've got Ilua 
and my favorite, which is the Ecosmetics Brow Palette. In here are my pencil eyeliners. So I've got Sigma, Chanel, BH Cosmetics, um, Eye of Horus, Anson Cosmetics. By the way, let me show you this. It's a super cool idea. Anson Cosmetics is so nice, by the way. So here's a pencil, but in the lid, it's ingenious. You've got a pencil sharpener. Lives on the top there. And then on the bottom, you've just got a regular lid as well, in case you don't want to take your pencil sharpener lid about. I just think that's so groovy. Okay, in this jar here, I keep my Duo Fiber foundation brushes. So I've got Studio 10, a lot of Sigma, Tarte Cosmetics, Stellium Tools. In this one here, I keep my sponges. So I've got a few sponges. This is actually my own sponge. It will be coming out at the same time as my brushes. And then two beauty blenders down there. Here I've got my blush brushes. So I've got Ecosmetics, my own brush, Random Brush, Studio 10, Delia Tool, Sigma, BH Cosmetics. Here I've got my contouring brushes. So I've got Real Techniques Bold Metals. What's this? Artiste. Sigma, I love that brush. Zoeva, this one's so pretty. More Zoeva and Sigma. Here are my highlight brushes. So I've got a Duo Fiber Sigma brush, MAC, BH Cosmetics. This one from Zoeva, I really, really like. This is the 132. It's so nice for everything, for contouring, highlighting, blush, whatever, you name it. Sigma, and that's about it. Oh, actually, this one here from Tarte Cosmetics, that one's kind of cool. I don't know if you can still buy it because it was part of the Tarte Holidays collection, but it's nice for applying highlighter because it's so flimsy. Here are my favorite powder brushes. So I think my favorite one in the world would be the it Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Wand Ball Powder Brush. It's just so soft and I love the way it applies powder. Then I've got Dillian Tools. I really like this one from Zoeva too. This is the 101 Luxe Face Definer. I like that for powder. I've got Lime Lily, Sigma and Zoeva. Here are my massive powder brushes. So I'm probably not even going to bother showing you that because it's too big. But how crazy is this brush here? This is it Cosmetics. And it's their Jumbo Face Powder Brush. It is literally the size of my hand. It's just huge. In here, I keep my flat eyeshadow brushes. So, you know, just for packing down color, things like that. Nothing too interesting in there. This one here is my favorite because it's all my blending brushes. And I just love blending brushes. My ultimate favorite would be the Delian Tool 787. Then I've got my own brush here. Again, coming out this year, which I love so much. I've got loads of E25s from Sigma because that is my second favorite blending brush in the entire world. I love this one here. I got this recently. This is the 134 Zoeva brush. So nice for blending. And I also really like this one. This is the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. Super handy. In here is all my concealer brushes. I love this one. This is the It Cosmetics. Are you noticing a thing here? I really like It Cosmetics brushes. And this is actually an eyeshadow brush, but I use it for concealer and things like that. This is the 2-in-1 No Tug eyeshadow brush, but I've got two of these and I use them solely for concealer. In here is all my detailer brushes, and I love the jar that I've got this one in. This used to be an Equoia candle, and it's such a pretty jar. I really like it. So yeah, in here is all my detailing brushes and eyeliner brushes. So I've got some Zoeva, Sigma, BH Cosmetics, Lime Lily, etc. Then I've just got a million buffing foundation brushes over here. Then I've got flat foundation brushes. Again, I'm not really a fan of them. Don't really use them. Then back here, I've just got my random things I don't use very often and my brow brushes. Then if I take you over here, I'll just quickly show you this. This little case here, this is a Zoeva clear makeup case. This is what I keep the brushes that I use on a daily basis in. So I've got the Zoeva 126 brush. I use this one for blush and for contouring. So I've got two of them in there. I've got my Heavenly Luxe powder brush that I showed you earlier. I've got a few eyeshadow brushes that I love. This is one of my own. And that's about it. They're the ones that I use on a daily basis on myself. And then the ones over there I use on clients or for makeup tutorials and things like that. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know down below if you want to see an updated routine or just a like makeup studio tour when I get my new one. And I will film that for you. I love you so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.